Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here, and we're in behind the scenes for Shen Godzilla, a short fan film that me and Jeremy just made weeks ago. Hello, I play the, uh, I play the government guy with the briefcase in the Shin Godzilla movie. And, let's get started with it, hmm? Shall we? Uh, this all started when my friend Brandon asked me to be in a movie, and I said yes. I've been watching Godzilla for quite some time because Godzilla 2000 was my first Godzilla film I watched since I was a kid. And now getting to Godzilla, which is a 1998 movie, and to Godzilla 2014, to Godzilla King of the Monsters, and Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla was probably my most favorite Godzilla. And why? Because it back in 1954 that Godzilla was used to be a scary type of monster that Japan just made. And look where it is now today and sometimes back in the 70s because they decided to have him as a um, type of fantasy type of action type of character to be a hero way. But I'm much into a uh, scary Godzilla. Because like how 1998 Godzilla was trying its best to not be a friendly type of creature. But to attack the city. Or going back to how 1985 Godzilla and 1954. Because they're trying to do it that way. And yeah I mean. I truly like Shin Godzilla the most of getting scary, and it made the design look more terrifying when I first saw it. And I truly love it. The design is much more brilliant. Whoever is the, the artist who did this concept for the looks of the Godzilla, I give him support and give him 10 out of 10. And why I decided to make this movie? Just to give much more support for Godzilla to keep it alive. But even if there's some way of what it would be like, to have a sequel for Shin Godzilla if those humanoid creatures did appear. The character I play as is named Harry, which there ain't much backstories about him, which, like how any type of Godzilla movies or just Shin Godzilla, just into these characters, or just came here just to, uh, just only just for no backstory but to just stop or figure out the. Yeah, the looks of Shin Godzilla or whatnot, his abilities, that sort of thing. But for Jacob, which that's the character Jeremy to play as, which I get a little bit more of because probably because he just works at a secret military who just tried to discover the blood and DNA or cells because there was that deleted scene where the flesh of Godzilla just fell off since that missile hit him. And somehow it works and I want that scene to be confirmed to show up in the movie, and that's why I have it referenced to that part where they somehow take some DNA cells and they're going to figure out some, some way to have some weaknesses or something that could uh, stop Godzilla in some t in some point. But that somehow didn't work for him, which the ending, which Godzilla did in fact got frozen. The plot was simple, it's just me and this other guy just running away from Godzilla. It's not that hard to understand, but it was simple. It's kind of very simple for any type of Godzilla movies, where you introduce these random characters that are just, ha just came here for no reason until you introduce Godzilla, or Shin Godzilla, where our characters mostly just get out of their time to see the chaos of their whole city just being destroyed. And they're trying to figure out things out if their own life is now game over thing. Or they're trying to figure out some way if they might try to contact the military or something to, to stop Godzilla. Until the ending. Give it a much more terrifying way twisted. Like the original Shin Godzilla for the ending. Which introduced the humanoid creatures in the fifth form. I, uh, a little sneak peek. I used a green screen to film all my scenes because it's during a pandemic. And, and one, one cool little tidbit, all my scenes were recorded on my iPad. And I used this little uh, little fancy tripod I, I designed 
And I went to stack a bunch of books on my iPad. <clears throat> Pad, because I don't, I couldn't find a tripod. I decided to add the briefcase in. My character didn't have a briefcase, so he decided to add, so I decided to add one in. I said it was full of government codes and nuclear footballs, but in reality, it's an NES classic. I did most of the scenes with myself in the green screen, which I didn't even wear the suit in the first time because I was used to wear my own type of clothes because the green jacket and my hair away. But a day later, I went to Savers that I got 50% off to buy some of these new clothes, and I actually got this one, which fits right, which is similar to any characters in Shin Godzilla who will wear these type of fancy outfit stuff, like always, and my sister got, you know, somehow styled my hair to the back and gave me a ponytail, which my hair is growing a little bit longer, and, um, I did most scenes, and Jeremy done his in his own blue, blue screen room, and... He mostly did the part with the scene of showing the tail, which is the camera is zooming up or some way. He did that part on his tablet, and he did good on it. I give him support for it. Because he showed the tail, and I edited parts of that to show the green screens of those humanoid creatures just crawling out of it and fall off. And the green screen for Shin Godzilla, which this one I didn't use because this all happened weeks ago, where I made that clay Shin Godzilla for the first time, which I waste all of my clay years ago, and I used them all together to make that big figure, and it was all made out of clay, of course, and I spray painted it to red to a little bit to black, but showing a little bit of red stains around it, because knowing how the design looks. And hours later, for wait for wait to it to dry, I had to add uh, more clay of the claws, the toes, and mostly parts at the back of those um, I forgot those plates, and a little bit, add a little bit to the to the tail thing, where the shows the skull, which I bet I did last time, but I find a way how it looks, and I managed to finish all of it, but. The, the scene where it's opened his mouth to do to use the atomic breath. I used that cardboard head I haven't made or finished it years later. Where it all happened in 2019. Where I was, or maybe it was 2020. But anyways, I was about to use that for a short random horror trailer film I'm about to use. But... It was, be, it was supposed to be my own type of OC alien creature, but that idea didn't happen, so I used what's left of that cardboard head, cut it parts of the jaw, and and cover it with foam and fabric, and some foam teeth, whatnot, and spray paint it, and use it, what was it, what it looks like, but you might think it looks kind of bad, because the way how the eyes, the way how cheap it looks, but I'm fine the way how it is. Days later, the clay figure of Shin Godzilla is beginning to fall apart. Trust because it could be the, the warm temperature in my room, or rather just too heavy and some parts of it is falling out. Yeah, the head just fell off, parts of the clay of the claws, and mostly the tail. So what am I going to do with it? I'm probably going to throw it away, but your thoughts in the comics, so what should I do with it?
So that's called Jura. So that's called Zilla.
that's Godzilla. So that's Godzilla. case. Keep it with you, just in case. In case that we had to do something about that. That thing. It's game over, man. Game over. over.
know. That guy did it. Is that Godzilla guy turned took down a cell tower or something? No. What? This scene where I can't. Okay, uh... okay, ask me about, about the briefcase. Ask me what's in this briefcase. Okay. Hey man, what's 
judgment was in a briefcase. Some very, very important files. Well, well, tell us the whole truth about what that thing is. I don't know, I wasn't allowed to read them.
all the places my gun can fall, it falls into a storm drain. Great. Desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. What pen was? Down there? See no see a bright orange revolver down there? Making a deal and tell you what or something like X Mother will ask. I'm so stupid, I need drinks. Look, Lace, no, this is. No, 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 no! Damn it! That was my last gun. Ugh. Whoever's gonna kill me. Whatever the hell that thing is, it doesn't kill me first!
it was fun working on the movie, and I hope we make another sequel. I had a blast. <laughs> that is all. My last thoughts in Shin Godzilla short fan film. It was fun, creativity, because I'm much of a creativity type of guy who wants to make random fan films like Jeffrey Keaton series stuff. And getting to random OC horror characters I made last time like Coulter or The Undead. But with Godzilla, it's a different thing for this channel. Just keep this franchise alive for Godzilla. And I inspired this fan film, which I truly really like how Kajuzilla621 did amazing for his work in all of his films of Godzilla. And he made his own type of Kaju characters or creatures. And they look pretty awesome, good details. And the way how he did his creativity around those scenes he made are amazing. Without like using CGI or animations, that's why particle effects back in the old years were in fact a thing in that time. And I truly love how the way how he used particle effects before you use CGI. And Kajuzilla621 did amazing and I inspired his work and I made this type of short fan film, which is somehow interesting to keep Godzilla alive. And um, yeah, even though he did comment down my one of my videos that I'm about to use is making a clay, um, clay motion Final Fantasy XIV movie called Final Fantasy XIV: The Awakening, which is meant to be something about scrap tra or spring trap story and whatnot, or per or William Afton's story, and now towards the end. Which is something about that idea, but it didn't happen. Knowing that how many times I had to keep moving out to the house to uh, to next door, or how many times I had to um, clean the, clean my room or writing out of ideas, so I canceled that years ago. And um, yeah, those props are probably still in the attic this whole time, but I'm probably going to throw them out soon, or who knows how long. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes, folks. Me and Jeremy did good on making this. And knowing that, who knows? With that ending, we're probably going to make another one. Your thoughts in the comments. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.